From the 30th of December until late January, we were either out fighting fires, patrolling, putting in containment lines, or on call for a month, constantly. We would have days that we'd do between 12 and 16 hours patrolling or out on the fire grounds. I would do the night shift and Tony would do the day shift or vice versa. So yeah, we didn't see each other for quite a few days in there in the middle. The only reason I know this is my bedroom is because I, that's the springs on the bed. Our house went on the 1st of February. On the 7th of February it rained and on the 8th of February they declared most of the fire out and under control. So yeah, we were one of the last to go. A bit of a punch in the guts, really. Um, our plan was always to stay and defend. As it turned out on the day, it was undefendable because of the intensity of the fire. And by the time we left, we drove through fire at the top of our road. This was our forever home. Everything we'd worked so hard for for so long had literally just gone up in smoke. The sense of loss is... It's almost like lo losing a loved one. You lose a part of your life that... Um, I don't have any baby photographs anymore. No memorabilia, no ornaments, no books, no CDs. And so many of those things can just never be replaced. I've been in RFS since I was probably 13. I've been captain of it for 35 years. I've been here all my life, so it means everything to me. Fourth generation here, mum born here, Mum's mum and, 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 and my great great grandmother was here too. We reared five kids here, and we, we lost two there up in the garden up there, buried in our garden. So it means a lot, a lot to me. So. The border fire that was coming up, you can see the glow down south of us. We knew it was definitely something going to happen, but when we didn't know. Normally, if it was a small scale fire, you'd, you'd get a couple of crews together, you'd, you'd get other brigades here, and, and you, you would go and fight the fire. But this fire, it, it was no normal fire, like, like a firestorm, something we've never, never seen before. It's very sad to lose 40 houses in a community of about 100, 100 houses. Look at the animals we, we killed here, in, in, just in this fire, there'd be millions of them. I know here we had 40 magpies once, we might have 10 now, and, and plovers and... I don't blame anybody for it. I mean, you saved my daughter's place, which, which is good. Gives us somewhere to go for our Sunday roast, so, yeah. yeah which we do, yeah. We see what's been lost, but we've got to keep remembering what's been protected. Houses which the RFS have been at and have stopped the fire burning the house. Uh, all the number of people that have been saved. You're in it to help your neighbours in these times. Once you get involved in it, you have to keep going. You know, I wouldn't, I mean, I'd change the outcome of the fires, but um. Yeah, I, I don't regret joining, and I'm certainly going to stay part of it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm proud, proud to wear that uniform.